Welcome to another session of Biosys interviews. So today we have Sumaya with us. So she has recently completed a post graduation degree in food science and safety, uh, quality food science and safety quality assurance management, and is currently working with research and innovation at Lambton College. Apart from this, she is also working as a sales associate with Marks. So let's hear from us. Hi Ram. Uh, thank you for the introduction. So, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sumaya. I'm currently working as a postgraduate researcher at Lambton College. And currently, I'm working in with wastewater treatment uh, at Lambton College Research and Innovation Center. Um, so, that's about all about myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, my first question is, can you tell the audience about how you entered the field, how your career path along these years? Okay, so talking about my previous like experience and education, I have done my master's in biotechnology from India. Mm -hmm. And also I have worked in two kinds of research, which was like phytochemical analysis in both marine organisms and in plants mm -hmm. home back in India. But I don't have any like kind of industrial experience over there. Mm -hmm. um, then I took food safety and quality assurance management at Latin College, which was a postgraduate diploma for two years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, like I started my work as a co-op student at Lambton College, mm -hmm. which was like a four month co-op term. And then I got into a permanent position as a postgraduate student researcher. Okay, so the co-op co term was in the last semester? Yeah, the co-op term was in the last term. Okay, yeah. So you directly entered the field from the co-op? Yes, yes, because uh, as we are like international students, it's mm -hmm. really difficult if you don't have like a kind of experience like an industrial experience home back in India. Mm -hmm. So the best way to get into like a Canadian experience is through COP. So, so I think COP is the best way to get in there. The person who have done the academic path in the India can enter the field without doing any education here in Canada or you need to do the education. Um so related to you mean biotechnology? Yeah biotechnology. Um so like uh, I think like uh, for the experience kind of thing, I think um, I had a, re a related research experience in India, which were like they are looking here also. So mm -hmm. I think uh, they need some kind of experience, but it's, it's a cop, right? So yeah. yeah, preference would be always given to the people who have experiences, mm -hmm. but they are not looking for like that kind of experience because I don't have any like industrial experience. I just mm -hmm. had like two research experience that I had before. Mm -hmm. So so it's good to have experience before starting. Yeah, out. it's always good to have an experience. Other like if we don't have any experience, like it's always good to have like theoretical knowledge, right? So like if I'm if you are applying for a cop term, like there would be like certain kind of uh, qualification that they are looking for. So yeah. if they don't get like a person who's directly having experience, even if they have like a practical knowledge on that, mm -hmm. it definitely would help. Okay. So at least if we don't have an experience, we sh we should definitely have a practical like theoretical knowledge on that okay. so how your job starts what are your key responsibility at the jobs um so we are working under the sunny water treatment plan so mm -hmm. basically we get the sample like every day mm -hmm. um so the thing that we start would be like a routine so like every day we have a certain kind of routine so until we get the sample we'll be doing like making the stock solution, the standards, calibrating all the equipments like HPLC, IEC. So we calibrate mm -hmm. all the equipments. We make like all the glass waste ready, lab build and everything. So basically the routine starts by calibrating preparation of everything, which is needed for the, uh, like for the sample. So that's what we started daily. The samples from, from the same places or is different every day? Oh, uh, like, uh, like currently, which I'm working like is the same places. Okay, so which places are you treating? Um, so we are just getting from the treat water treatment plan right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's good. So what skills you have complete you have completed in the graduation that you think is useful during your job experience? So <clears throat> I done food safety, which is like entirely different from what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, all my skills that I'm using right now is from, from my master's and from my bachelor's, which is in biotechnology. Okay. So I think like the skills that I learned from 
it has like a direct influence what for what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. And also, like, <clears throat> what I learned from food safety was, like, we, we all know that in food safety, we learned about, like, equipments like HPLC, IC, gas chromatography, which all are needed to test the parameters in the wastewater. So I think I have learned, used that theoretical knowledge in my current experience, as well as, like, uh, we have done through microbiology, mm-hmm. which was a subject when I was doing food safety here at Lambton College. Okay. So definitely, like, in everything there's a micro so i have used that microbiology technique as well as like the safety general manufacturing practices what is the general laboratory good laboratory practices that we can do like for the safety um so that's what i think like uh, the food say the regulation the safety that we can achieve in the laboratory so mm-hmm. these are things that i get to like from my postgraduate diploma from here so what do you think are most important skills, the transferable or the technical skills? Transferable skills, like, it's definitely important, right? For, like, mm-hmm. everything, like, we need to be, like, a good team player. We have to be, like, good at communication, which is, like, basics. But for me, I think, like, technical, technical skills really is also very important. Mm-hmm. What if, like, we don't have any knowledge on, like, how to make a standard solution or, which is, like, very basic, right? How to use a pipette which is like very basic uh, when we work in a lab or in a research field. So Mm -hmm. I think technical, uh, like technical skills are really important Mm -hmm. uh, to be like more effective, like more good at the working atmosphere right now. So while starting a job, we don't have uh, much experience how to start the job, uh, start with the field. So is there some sort of training before or we start directly? Okay. For me, like, I'm working for the wastewater for the first time. Mm-hmm. So like <clears throat> we we knew about like what are the parameters in the wastewater or like what are the equipments in the wastewater, right? We definitely do some kind of research, but we doesn't have any direct kind of experience. Mm-hmm. Because like I have done I have worked with plants and as well as marine organisms. I doesn't work anything related to wastewater. So definitely they gave us like uh, for one month it was a training period. Mm-hmm. So they let us know about some training like a workplace training mm-hmm. and as well as one of the co-op students like um she was like senior co-op student she gave us like a training so like what are the things that we are doing and like uh a knowledge about the equipments that we are using and also they give us like a thesis kind of sop to read about and to get a knowledge about um what are things that related to the wastewater mm-hmm. and also we were not able to work until we get proper vaccination for that Mm-hmm. So to work under the wastewater, we have to get proper vaccination. So they will check um, the immunity, how immune we are for hepatitis and uh, hepatitis. Mm-hmm. So after the vaccination and after one month of training, we were ready to go to work. Yeah. So generally, we hear from the students, from the seniors, that it's difficult to get a co-position. So what's your opinion on that? Oh, I didn't get that it's difficult to get what? Uh, to co- get a co-position. Because there is much completion. Yeah, for us, like it was really difficult because mm-hmm. it was on the winter winter time, right? So, mm-hmm. like if there is summer, there is a lot of co positions opening, mm-hmm. and I think all of my colleagues also faced the same same difficult situation because it was winter and there was no like enough openings coming up. Mm-hmm. So, even though I did food safety, my passion was towards research. So I was like particularly focusing on research. Mm-hmm. So um, I talk with one of my professor like how I passionate was like with research mm-hmm. and um I asked about uh, what are the companies which focus on biotechnology research mm-hmm. so as an international students will not be having a good idea on which are the companies that we have in Canada right mm-hmm. even though if we search about the industries we will not be getting like enough information mm-hmm. so uh so what are the things that I did was like I make a good connection with one of my professors and then uh, let her know about like my my passion how passionate i am so mm-hmm. she gave me an idea about like what are the companies that we have in canada mm-hmm. and even about the lambton college research and innovation so mm-hmm. how i get into that so for me i think like if our co-op is starting like we have like four months we have to start like researching for co position mm-hmm. from that month yeah. we didn't have to wait for like the last two weeks or last one month right mm-hmm. so in mm-hmm. canada like if we apply for a job Either if a rejection, either for an interview, we will take like more than two months to get an interview call. Mm-hmm. But we have to prepare for it like before. 
we have to start making connections we have to be very active in linkedin we have to be make good contact with our professors or like whatever we have mm-hmm. and we have to be like start preparing for that and to make a good resume as well yeah so how do you think is cop beneficial is it easier for cop students to get a job or is same for all i think definitely cop is very beneficial for my, in my case also like the to the people who doesn't have like previous experience like who doesn't have a canadian exposure like it's definitely and helpful right mm-hmm. if we get into a cop term like we are working from in my case like i'm working with very good researchers mm-hmm. who have like a lot of connections right mm-hmm. and we are lo- for in this four, four months i have learned a lot of things Mm-hmm. and i have gained a lot of connection with the researchers so in future if i need to make a reference or something it's definitely help right yeah yeah like if i'm doing good here mm-hmm. it definitely help like the mm-hmm. researchers are there to support us like we can ask them like if you know if you guys know any vacancies or like to get anything right any help so and these four months of experience we can add it to the resume like we can add everything what are the equipments that we worked mm-hmm. so even though if i'm working in based water i'm not only doing that work we can collaborate with other researchers we can help them in the meantime so mm-hmm. so in this four months i have been like just working based water but, but i have done a lot of research work so, so like, a good I, experience for you yeah so i can mm-hmm. add like four to five research experience in my resume right mm-hmm. even though it was for four months i mm-hmm. my resume was like there is like four to five research that i can add right now mm-hmm. and a lot of equipments that i have worked so mm-hmm. Definitely, I think COP is very beneficial so to the it, people who doesn't have any previous experience. So it boosts your profile. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, what do you think is the best platform to search for the COP positions? Um, uh, I think like for every colleges there are like a career website, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. <clears throat> they will be posting like related to career website, which which we can apply as a students. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely good option. The second thing I think is like IRCC website where there is a job bank or uh, there's also government jobs mm-hmm. so we can try into that mm-hmm. and also like uh, I prefer to make connection in LinkedIn so that other people will uh, post about job vacancies so like whenever like we scroll we can see like a lot of vacancies mm-hmm. so that's the three platforms I think it is very good to connect with okay so does networking with the alumni is like within the networking meetings that held in the colleges plays a role in connections yes of course it do like uh, i i just feel if, like i was in india i was started linkedin i didn't make it doesn't make any benefit for me mm-hmm. but after i came it was my linkedin profile was like maybe 60 followers or something like that mm-hmm. before i start my call mm-hmm. and then i started networking with people now like i have 500 more than 500 connection within this four months right mm-hmm. so like so i get to know about people i i have i make good mm-hmm. connection with people so like uh, if there is a, like it's not about reference or it's not about how we get into a company mm-hmm. right it's like you are seeing about a company you are getting know if there is a vacancy right mm-hmm. and also like if there are some seminars workshop mm-hmm. it all help us to make a good connection mm-hmm. i think in canada like definitely at least to like to be it's not like getting into a job but it's like to get your resume in their hands or like mm-hmm. to get a priority in your resume at least to get an interview call it definitely helps so one of our professor always says that we should use the linkedin same way that we use the instagram or facebook oh, definitely like so i was a person that used instagram a lot mm-hmm. but now like when i just wake up from sleep i was looking on my linkedin mm-hmm. like i have st- transferred from that to this mm-hmm. because like it is working like mm-hmm. right like uh, so like we can talk with a lot of people we can let mm-hmm. you know like so i'm sharing my experience with you guys right so like mm-hmm. who's behind me mm-hmm. can help with that but uh, if i need to connect i'm not that much grown in my industry right i just started mm-hmm. so if i need to know like how to be like exploring my career i have to get mm-hmm. connected with the people top of me like so i think it's like it's very beneficial mm-hmm. So what challenges do you face during your journey how do you tackle these challenges for me even though i was a beginner i didn't face like that much challenges here because how that how much good my working environment was mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So like even though it was a beginner, it, we do a lot of mistakes, right? But mm-hmm. how supporting our supervisors was like all of the researchers at the Lepton College, mm-hmm. I definitely say like how good they are. Mm-hmm. So like I have heard a lot of ever from my colleagues, like how their co-op experience was worse. They are just waiting for the four months to get over. Mm-hmm. But for us, it was like like a heaven. Because whenever if we have a doubt or even if we are curious about learning something, they're always there to teach us to clear our doubts or like for everything. So I didn't face any challenge here, mm-hmm. but as a, like, I started working in like a research, like a project alone. So one of the things that I faced was like the time management skill. Mm-hmm. So for that, that I, um, so I was working in 96 mushroom samples once. Mm-hmm. So I have like, there was no deadline for that, but um, I have to complete one portion a, a day and the incubation period was too long. So one day I take like more than half an hour. So uh, so the next time what I did was like, I organized everything. So like for tomorrow, I make the reagents, even though I labeled every bottles that I needed, mm-hmm. I made everything ready for tomorrow and it gained a lot of time. So I think if someone is like having a difficulty in time management, mm-hmm. always, always make sure like you organize everything, you read everything and you have a plan for tomorrow to do that. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the challenges I faced and how I tackled it. When I was working here. So how you managed to have a good time management? I think definitely it's like how we organize things. Mm-hmm. You have to be like organization skill. It's like if you're working in a lab, working environment, if you don't have an organizational skill, it's like. Like making yeah. the notes beforehand. Yeah, like we have to prepare like, okay, mm-hmm. what are things that we need? Okay, mm-hmm. do we have like enough solutions for that? Do we calibrate the equipments or do we need to do it before? Mm-hmm. How many glass phase do we need? Mm-hmm. What are the things that we need? And do we have like everything in between like near to our surface? Because like, even though it, they are the minute things, but it will at least take five minutes or 10 minutes to mm-hmm. get everything right. Mm-hmm. So just plan everything. And that's the thing that we can do for that. So looking back, is there anything you think you should wish you have done anything different? For me, I think like I was not working for one year mm-hmm. because I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. So I think I didn't utilize that time. So there are a lot of seminars, workshop, free seminars, free workshop happening in Canada, which is mm-hmm. like very good platform to get connections. Mm-hmm. So I thought like if I can, even I can do it right now, I can start it right now. But I just feel like if I regret doing something like which I didn't before, it would definitely would be like, you know, not attending that kind of workshop, seminars, certificates, certifications. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not like active in LinkedIn kind of thing like before. So it's never too late to start a new thing. Never too late to start. Yeah. Everyone can start now. Yeah. So any certifications or training, what do you think? students should gain before graduation um so if anyone want to continue in the wastewater Mm -hmm. i will definitely will go with oit which is an ontario wastewater certification Mm -hmm. so like if anyone want to work in wastewater or water related field in ontario we need that certification Mm -hmm. so i definitely will say like it will benefit a lot Mm -hmm. and which is like a very good field so Mm -hmm. we have heard about water lab and everything right Wastewater is like such a good field to flourish, which has a good pay, which is like good to work. Mm-hmm. Um, so I definitely say if someone wants to continue in the wastewater, or IT is a good option. And then definitely if someone is continuing with safety HACCP, which is like very important. So that's the two thing. And like there are a lot of certificates also, like free certificates that we can do. Mm-hmm. So always try to do that too. So I have a doubt that if you're doing a job, and your jobs require a certain certification. So mm-hmm. will the company help you to get that certificate or you need to do it on your own? I think like um, when I try to look at the uh, like jobs related to the water, mm-hmm. they're asking for the IIT exam, mm-hmm. but like they are not like asking like we can get into that job and we have to take that exam within one, one year. Mm-hmm. So they are giving that opportunity as well. Okay. So, like for the IIT, there are different classes of certification. So, like there's four or five things. I'm not sure about that, mm-hmm. but like if we take that all four, we got a good opportunity. But they are not like disqualifying. We are not. Mm-hmm. We're, they're not disqualifying our application because of that. Mm-hmm. But we can get into that, and we have to take it within one year. But it's always good to have like the certification. Priority will be given 
to those people who have OIT. So, is there any secret code that can help us to enhance our resume? Okay, for me, like, okay, like, um, first of all, we have a general concept of resume, right? We do mm -hmm. a, a very good template with colorful mm -hmm. things and things right now. And uh, for us, like, I was not receiving any kind of interview before. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking, okay, even my friends was having the same resume. And one of my friends was getting a lot of interview calls. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to him, okay, can you just look at my resume and just clear like what is going on here. And he was just telling, oh, your resume looks like exactly mine. Mm -hmm. Let me check what is the difference. And when he checked the difference, what he can find this point was that he added a skill section. Mm -hmm. for, I, I was also having the skill section, but what I added was just my, you know, technical skills. Mm -hmm. I didn't add my transferable skills like communication, things like that. So I added like the transferable skills, like good communication, adaptability, mm -hmm. uh, team player, which is like very essential for a job. So after adding that single thing, mm -hmm. I started getting interview calls. So, so yeah. The software that pick up the keywords. Yeah, the keywords, mm -hmm. which is re really important. So like most of the uh, jobs are screening by the AI, right? Mm -hmm. So just make sure like we are using a simple template mm -hmm. uh, for the resume. And the next thing is like, Use the keywords which for the job responsibilities and try to incorporate if we have that job res if we have that word, mm -hmm. and then also like um, alter the resume based on the responsibility. So mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of people like just apply for the jobs without like anything, right? Without even changing uh, anything, like just adding the resume and they're telling like I'm not getting any interview calls. Mm -hmm. So like for me, I take like one hour for apply for jobs, even though I'm not that good. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting my career, I could say, like, but I'm giving, like, to the people who's just, like, starting as me. Mm -hmm. So, always try to tailor your resume, resume according to the job responsibility mm -hmm. and according to the skills that the job needs. Mm -hmm. So, without doing that, we'll never get an interview call. So, always do that. And also, like, we can, we have an option to add the references. Like, we can add our professor's references if a company wants to know, like, about us. So, that are the thing, three things I think I added to my resume. Oh, there should be a different resume for or different positions. Uh, yeah. So for me to make it ha like easier, mm -hmm. what I did was like, okay, as I did biotechnology and food safety, I can go to two fields, right? Mm -hmm. Biotech, food safety, now the wastewater too. Mm -hmm. So what I did was like, I generated three resume, one for mm -hmm. food, one for biotech, one for Mm -hmm. wastewater mm -hmm. then according so that i have a general uh layout and, and everything like, for my resume mm -hmm. and then i will tailor my resume according to the job responsibilities mm -hmm. so it make me a lot of easier and try to add cover letter mm -hmm. all the time when you uh do that yeah because, stands apart from the others yeah because like most of the people doesn't do a cover letter right mm -hmm. so like it's it's showing like we are passionate about that job and mm -hmm. we have like we are willing or like we are hardworking, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's the thing that like, we should consider. Mm -hmm. So here's my last question. So yeah. Any advice you would like to give to the graduates? Stay connected with people, mm -hmm. communicate, don't feel shy, mm -hmm. don't feel like awkward, just talk to them, mm -hmm. just ask for opportunities. Mm -hmm. The At least we should get a no, right? We didn't, mm -hmm. They didn't do more than that. Mm -hmm. If if it is worse, it would be no. I can't do that, right? Mm -hmm. But what if it is a yes? So I'll always ask for like opportunities from people. Try to communicate, and also be updated with everything. Mm -hmm. If you are going to a food safety field, be updated with every news, mm -hmm. and like try to like be active in LinkedIn. Like try to write about something. Like if you if I learned about HPLC today, just try to add something about HPLC and just keep updated. Like post everything read mm -hmm. if you if you love to work in a lab just read sop like be updated and communicative stay connected that's what i have to do so it's better to have uh, active on the linkedin yeah and then uh like it's not about linkedin right mm -hmm. if, we, if we came to like as an international student we see that we came to mm -hmm. college okay mm -hmm. everything would be everyone would be like forwarding the part-time jobs like mm -hmm. Okay, part-time job is important, money is important because mm -hmm. as an international student, we will be having loan, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. they have to find a way to clear that mm-hmm. but what what a thing that we not realize is that mm-hmm. same part time job there's a lot of opportunities in the college right mm-hmm. i didn't know that we can do a part time job in, in the research center here mm-hmm. i get to know about it when i started to talk with my professor she mm-hmm. told me like okay we can start our career like a part time at the research and innovation center as a lab assistant mm-hmm. so like every college has a lot of opportunities like that right so mm-hmm. like uh, that's okay that we are doing a basic general job or something like that but what if we, we get a part time related to our field mm-hmm. it's really good right so how mm-hmm. i get that knowledge i connected with one of my professors so we just come to our class we just leave the college we come back again we do assignments that's it so like i get to know about the research and innovation center by one of my professors mm-hmm. so like just keep connected not to our professors even to our friends right mm-hmm. so like if we now we are graduated every one has done our take off everyone is in a permanent position keep connected with our friends too mm-hmm. that's how can we get to know about new companies new industries mm-hmm. we can get get in touch right so mm-hmm. if we get in touch if there is any vacancy you know like references work a lot in canada mm-hmm. at least to get an interview we need something mm-hmm. connection so i think for me like i just keep preference to now now that even though your resume is good mm-hmm. it will help to get an interview mm-hmm. an interview we can just do our best right and mm-hmm. if it like fits our fits us we'll get into that job mm-hmm. so that's the thing that i just feel like mm-hmm. so references plays a most important role in yeah the job. that that what i feel uh, mm-hmm. at least even to get like to check our resume or to get an interview call mm-hmm. there are places but i think so uh, mm-hmm. from my experience what I, what i think is that mm-hmm. so thank you for giving your time so it was really thank grateful you, uh, to have so talk to you it was nice talking to you yeah i learned so many things from you i'm sure no, that the I'm, students were i'm also a beginner i'm sorry to interrupt you i'm also a beginner mm-hmm. i just started my career this is like i'm not talking like um i have flourished me in my career i'm also looking for jobs so mm-hmm. like just helping like who's like trying to find a job or like who who's like who wanted to know like how to get in a job position kind of thing it is my privilege to share with you so once again thank you thank you ram have a good day mm-hmm.